Hey everyone, this is Mark Philip at Studica and I'm here with another video about the MyStem project board. Today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a 12 volt DC motor that you see right here and how to control it using the Elvis MX tools uh, from National Instruments with the MyDAC to basically uh, send voltage here, turn it on, and reverse the polarity whenever you want. So by the end of the project you'll wind up with pretty much what you see here and if I run my Elvis MX tools and turn on pin 0 you hear my motor turn on, and I can reverse the polarity with pin 1. And that can change the polarity back, and I can turn my motor off. So I'm controlling that with my computer, and uh, using this setup that you see right here. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So here's everything that you're going to need to do this project. Uh, we have, first of all, the my stem board right here. We have an NI my dock right here. We have a 12 volt DC motor. We have a 12 volt external power supply and this should come with your MyStem board if you have one. And then we have four anti-reverse uh, pins here. These are pin to pin cables. We also have a very small flathead screwdriver. I don't know the exact uh, size on this, but it has to be enough to fit into the screws here on the output bridge. And then we uh, have a type B USB cable. And lastly, we need a computer that runs the Elvis MX tools. So first thing that we need to do is unscrew the screws here on output one, uh, just enough so that we can slide two pins into them. So now that they're unscrewed, I'm gonna slide my first pin here onto the uh, left side of output one. This is going to be my positive cable. So this is what's gonna actually have current on it. And then I'm gonna slide my blue pin here into the second part of the output one uh, bridge. Now it's important to note you don't want to use this ground port here. This is for uh, testing voltage using a signal voltage. Um, instead what you use is each output has two slots, one for positive, one for negative. These are H bridges. So this allows you to reverse the polarity of whatever you have connected in here. Now what we're going to do is wire a pin from the DIO0 port here and put this into the EN1 port here, and then we're gonna take another pin and put it in the DIO1 port, and then this will run to the DIR1 port over here. Now what this is gonna do is these DIO ports allow us to send a signal through our computer that's connected to our MyDAC. So once we send a signal, it will hit the EN1 port, which tells the output ports uh, right here, it tells these output ports to basically send voltage to whatever we have this connected to. And then the DIR1 port here will actually allow us to reverse the polarity of output one here so that our motor will spin the other way. Now what we wanna do is put our power supply onto the board. Now before you do that, what you wanna do is make sure this switch is switched to the left. This is the off position. If it's switched to the right, that's the on position, that's off. Uh, we obviously want to do this because when we're dealing with wiring and stuff like this, um, you want to be operating with no current running through the board so as to minimize the possibility that you might shock yourself or damage something. So make sure that's off and then plug in your 12 volt power supply into the board. And do not turn it on yet, we'll be doing that later. Now we're going to be plugging the MyDAC into the actual MyStem board. So you notice on your MyDAC you have this large like serial port here. Um, you basically just push these into the MyDAC like this until it's snug on there. And now we've made a connection. And then next thing you want to do is grab your Type-B USB cable, plug it in to the MyDAC on this end, and then run this USB to your computer. Now the last thing we want to do is take our motor and find your positive terminal. Mine's marked by this red plus sign. And you're going to wire your positive cable through there so that the metal is touching. And then you're going to wire your ground cable through the other side so that its wire is touching. Now normally you would solder your cables. You would have say a copper cable with like a pin running to the, imp to the output. Um, and you would solder those cables there. For this demonstration, I'm just using these wires like this. Uh, generally not recommended, uh, especially if you're actually gonna be using the motor for an extended period of time. 
Um, but again, for this demo, I'm just doing it this way. This will still work as long as my metal's connect, uh, touching each other because then current will flow. Now at this point, we want to supply power. So I'm gonna hit the power switch on. And then we're gonna go onto our computer and we're going to open up our Elvis MX launcher. And on the Elvis MX launcher, you're gonna open the digital writer. And then with the digital writer open, you're going to click the run option at the bottom to start the program. And now you can use pin zero, which will turn the motor on, and then pin one will reverse the polarity of the motor. So now if I hold my motor and press pin zero, you'll notice that it turns on, you can hear it. And if I press pin one while pin zero is on, you'll hear that it switches and reverses polarity. And turn one on again, sorry, off again, and then it switches back to normal polarity. One switches polarity, uh, one is off again, and I turn zero off, motor stops. Now before you stop running the digital writer program, you wanna make sure that you turn all the pins off. Um, if you stop the program before turning all the pins off, run it again and then turn the pins off, and then stop it again. All right, so that wraps up this project. It's very straightforward, very simple, but hopefully it gives you some ideas of things you can do with higher voltage uh, equipment using the My Stem board with the MyDAC. Of course, you could also connect the MyDAC up to LabVIEW and use that to uh, manipulate inputs as well. So there's a lot of possibilities here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something and uh, have a good day.